Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm with the Falcon Ridge community in Cibolo, Texas, because I got some out of state buy buyers that are looking at houses, and we might have found the one. The house behind me was built in 2007. It is 2374 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath. Let's go check it out. Now, this is a two story house, but the master bedroom is down, so that's really nice. And I really like the location of this community. Uh, Falcon Ridge is. Well, this part of Falcon Ridge is at Cibolo, Texas. Easy access to um, I-35 if you want to go there. But just on the other side of these houses, that's where you're going to have the Walmart, the new AGB, a group of restaurants, uh, medical emergency centers. Um, coming out here on uh, Bornfeld Road, you can just go right to 3009, and that's an easy way to get to the Lowe's and everything else. And... Uh, Steel High School is also just around the corner from us. But I do like, uh, I live in Shirts, Cibolo, it's kind of all the same thing because they're just kind of intertwined. But so far, uh, this house is looking really nice. We don't see any major cracks. Um, if they do get this house, we're definitely gonna wanna get an inspector out here just to make sure. But some nice landscaping, love the flagstone. You can tell they took a lot of care in this, but, uh, yeah, let's head on inside and check out what that looks like. Nice big little sitting area here. It does have gutters, which is really nice. And see the little spiky things up there. That's to keep the swallows from uh, making their nest because they don't ever seem to go away. It does have Vivinette uh, doorbell and a really nice door. All right, really neat little house here. <clears throat> this would be the formal dining room space right up front. Yes, I know it's got carpet. Some people still like carpet in their downstairs, but you could do whatever you want to with this room. If you don't want it to have it as a dining room, you can do something else. A little shelf up there if you want to put some big vases or something for color. They already got a little coat rack. But coming in, little nooks there. You've got the kitchen. I'll show that off in just a second. We have carpet all down here. The house definitely needs a new coat of paint because, yeah, this paint job, uh, one, it's dated. Uh, two, it's just there's a whole lot of uh, blemishes in it from kids and stuff. This is the main living room space. Lots of windows and a tall space at that so nice long wall on that side and you got your little window port to the kitchen and then we can head on inside the kitchen area this can be your breakfast nook space and yeah that's got the Falmica countertops but um <clears throat> If you want to do granite, don't go to Lowe's or Home Depot. You're paying national prices for that. We have our own road here. We call it Granite Road off Jones, Jones Maltzberger in San Antonio. It's got probably 20 something granite shops in there. So you can pick your own slab and do redo the kitchen if you want to. So it's got nice, looks like new appliances from Whirlpool. If they're not new, they're really cleaned up does have the stainless steel 5050 sink. My clients are already talking about putting granite in. That's your chance to upgrade the sink. Make sure you do an undermount sink, not on top. More island stuff, and if they were doing it, you can always extend this lip a little bit and make it a little more bar space, but that cuts into your breakfast nook spot. All right, check out the pantry. My clients uh, got them from them watching my videos and she loves, also when people love the fact that I show the pantries. I said it's already got the Vivinet home security. I have to call the listing agent to confirm that that stays. All right, this is gonna be your laundry room space right off the kitchen. And because it's right off the kitchen, you've got backup uh, pantry spots. There we go. All right, looking at the garage. Nothing fancy about the garage. Standard two-car garage. 
does have a water softener already in it. So I wouldn't say it's the newest water softener or the most high tech one, but it is a, a water softener already done. Got your garage door opener. And I like the fact that we got extra storage up there above the garage door where it comes up. Speaking of extra storage, you get a little more storage tucked under here, under the stairs. All right, I don't think I mentioned price. The sellers are asking 335 for this house. And as I'm filming this, it is mid-September 2022. All right, we got a neat little powder room, a little pedestal sink. Cute mirror. And I usually save the master bedroom for last, but it's right here. So <clears throat> if you're looking at a two-story house, definitely recommend finding one with a master bedroom down. I say that because I live in a two-story house, the master bedroom up. I am now 50 years old and my knees are not happy with me. So at least you have a master bedroom down. All right, coming in here. A little bit of a low sink, but my clients are already talking about how they can, they're going to do some renovations if they get this house. But one thing that is neat, got a little jacuzzi tub, a Whirlpool tub. Looks like a really nice clean shower. It's always important and cool shower head. One of my clients requirement was it had the water closet with a door on it. So we found them that, yay. And we got a pretty decent size master bedroom closet with some extensive shelving put in. A lot of drawers. I guess we wanna fold up everything, put them in there, you can. All right, let's go ahead and head on upstairs and show you what that looks like. Yep, a lot of carpet in this house. All right, right up the top of the stairs, you have a guest bathroom with a, uh, or just the bathroom for upstairs. Your standard tub shower combination We got the other, we got three bedrooms upstairs. All pretty good size. There's little sliding door closets. <coughs> Here's the other bedroom up here. This is a little bit bigger bedroom with a window. And man, they like their built closet built-in systems. So yeah, this is definitely a little bit bigger room. Speaking of good size spaces, they've got this little entertainment area up here. I also want to point out, you got plugs in the floor. So if you wanted to have a lamp, couches or anything like that, you got a bunch of those plug-in floors, plugs inside the floors here. But it's a perfect spot to have your TV entertainment set up, set up. Let's go for a little view from the top. All right. But yeah, they've got the pass-throughs. This house was built in 2007, so it's not gonna have all the modern conveniences, but they've done a lot. This is a little neat. Looks like I got a plug for a little, I want to put a refrigerator down there. And it's a cool spot if you wanted to have your little bar up top, you can. And I know what I would do, I'd turn this into like a poker room or something. All right, this is the other bed, the third bedroom upstairs. A 
Kind of just your standard closet with the sliding doors. I don't know what this is access to, but it's solid and built in. So if you know what that is, let me know because I don't. The view from the top on this side. All right, let's head on back downstairs. Give you one last look. The dining room or the front room, whatever you want to do with it. Got the kitchen over here. Master bedroom over there. And the powder room. And then the main living space area. knock that light down all right before we forget let's go and head out check out the backyard because it's kind of neat all right i wouldn't say it's a big patio because it's not but it is a tall one see they're taking more precautions to keep bugs out of there uh right. little power plug but the sun sets well west is back this way so if you want to sit out here you can but yeah this is a really nice backyard does have a sprinkler system i mentioned before they they nicely landscaped got a pretty cool flagstone wall set up there but this is also quite neat have a little basketball hoop set up or court set up or maybe in pickleball. I know a lot of people are loving themselves some pickleball nowadays. The fence looks relatively new for a house that's 2007. And that roof doesn't look too old either. So, uh, yeah. Lots to like about this house. Alright. Let's head on back inside. <clears throat> and I like the fact that the air conditioner is over on the side get a little side for a garden bed if you wanted to but there's where the air conditioner is back over there all right that's gonna do it for the video tour of a pre-existing home built in 2007 in the falcon ridge community of Cibolo, texas like i said the location of this home is really nice so far i haven't found anything dramatic about it but if my clients do get it we'll do the 10-day option period bring an inspector in so they can really look this house over before my client actually gets this house fully under contract. All right, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're moving to the area and looking for a real estate agent that does videos like this, hey, the best thing you do is click in the description box for a link so you can reach out to me. And of course, I want you to like these videos, share these videos, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right, take care now. Bye.